So it turns out I've got a water leak in my floorboard of my Nissan pickup. So today we're going to be pulling this carpet and hopefully we'll get to find the source of the water leak. As you can see, the passenger floorboard is pretty um, discolored, obviously due to being soaked with water and it's probably growing mold, bacteria. It smells like mildew, you know, it's pretty bad. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, these are pretty simple old trucks. This is an 87 Nissan pickup. So all you need is a screwdriver, 12 millimeter, and a 16 millimeter. So let's get to it. First piece, door kick plate. Let's go to the side kick plate. It's just held in with a screw and then there's a clip up here. Pretty simple. Just be careful with this old plastic. I think some of these bolts run through the floorboard, so uh, they may be a little bit rusty. I have taken the seat out before, uh, so some of these bolts are probably still kind of loose. Take this bad boy out. All right, we've got the seat belt buckle. That's going to be our 16 millimeter. It's kind of tucked in there. Most of these seat belt buckles, uh, seat belts in general, have like these little lock rings on them. <clears throat> Just try to keep everything in place. I do believe that <clears throat> there was a glass broken in this truck before because there's a lot of shards of glass everywhere. You can see them. That is nasty.
This looks like it's all dry. Yeah, it feels pretty dry. Shouldn't have to take this out. This is the uh, fold down seat. So, if we can avoid taking that out, <laughs> I will avoid. Got a couple of control modules here. This one's definitely the engine computer. Um, I can tell because it's got a uh, 23710 here. That is normally a Nissan engine computer part number. That one was stubborn. <clears throat> Hopefully there's none on the other side. Looks like we got a uh, screw here and then probably another screw there this is a uh, 31036 so that's going to be a transmission control module Nissan part number Gotta remember that uh, this screw goes through that ground as well as the bracket. Forget something simple as that, and this truck probably won't run. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of crud in here. Got beer bottle cap. And that's pretty nasty. All right. And carefully disconnect these. Some corrosion there, but nothing on the <coughs> nothing on the pins, so that's good. I'm trying to see if there's any other bolts for this. I don't see anything obvious. Hidden, hidden down here. There we go. Oh boy. And 
that moment. <laughs> Well, so I found the other clip and the screw for it. Perfect. That looks like a wasp nest. Interesting. I'm hoping this it is perfect. I was going to say I hope that carpet is split in the middle. Uh, actually, I might be able to just leave that shifter on. It's an old truck, so doesn't have a shift lock. <laughs> there we go, pull that on out. Man, this thing is full of stuff. Look at that carpet. Look how bright it is. That's what color it used to be. Like a nice charcoal brown. Interesting. Okay, let's work on this side. Very good. Okay. Well, I think uh, I might be able to take the front carpet out. I gotta disconnect these um, tabs. Oh, there's a uh, accelerator pedal stop.
Ooh, this thing is nasty. <clears throat> Need to get this one disconnected. Okay. Come on out of there. Come on. Oh man. Yeah. That's pretty gross. side this, this thing is stuck for some reason ah, it's like it's glued down mm. oh wow Look, a random bolt oh that's shiny I bet that's been under there since the time this truck was built. Huh, wow. Strange. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Set that up there. This is soaking wet. Oh, that's nasty. Oof. That's going to have to be cleaned big time. That's my CRX. That's the WRX. This is the business. Hmm. Wow. So, definitely got some water coming in somewhere. That is soaking wet all the way up. Oh, wow. Interesting. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, man. That was a lizard. And that's why you wear gloves when you take 30-year-old carpet out. Oh. I'm going to clean this up and we'll be right back.
Let's see if we can get this out. supposed to come with the carpet. Mm. There we go. Now if I can just get the seat belt buckle. out yeah so that right that right rear window was leaking Quick connect. That would have been nice to know, but that's okay. All right. That through there, and that, and that, and then. Lock washer. Okay. Carpet is out. 